Hi everyone, Electric Vehicle Guy here and welcome to a Model 3 vlog. What's happened is Elon Musk has taken to the stage, all built uh, a little bit short, uh, 15 minutes he was on stage to deliver the first 30 Model 3s uh, at the Fremont Cat Cat factory in California. So uh, they've stuck to schedule, they've delivered the first Model 3s in 2017, like they said they were going to do. Um, while Elon was on stage, uh, he thanked everyone at Tesla for working really hard to uh, make that happen. So that was really nice um, for him to do that. He uh, has also mentioned that um, they've had over a half a million deposits for the Model 3, which um, equates to... $500 million in reservations. It's a lot of money and if that kind of um, turns into the average price uh, that they reckon a Model 3 will be, he's got about $22 billion worth of potential orders which he's got to try and fulfil. So that's really exciting. He also said that 66 percent of Model 3 reservations are in the USA, so that's a, that's a hefty chunk, and the 33 percent was the rest of the world, so Europe, uh, well anywhere other than the United States, uh, and right hand drive markets as well, such as the UK, Hong Kong and Australia. Um, so that's all good. He unveiled um, two models so we have two model threes that you can choose from there's a 220 mile and a 310 mile range model threes and uh, obviously one's got 90 more miles than the other one fully charged um, so that was interesting we people on the forums um, and um, on websites were kind of speculating that there would be uh, more than, than one range offered. Um, so I think either range is, is comfortable. Having lived now with an electric car that does between kind of 65 and 95 miles, depending on the weather, cold weather, warmer weather, um, I think kind of a 220 mile range is comfortable for most people and the 310 mile range is, in my opinion, um, a, a game changer at a lower cost. If you've got the money you can always buy a Model S at that kind of range or a Model X at that kind of range but um, on a, a car at this price um, it, it is definitely a game changer. So. He also kind of gave a little bit more information away while he was on stage as well. So um, I've broken that down, got, done a little bit of drawing, a bit of, um, bit of information here. So I'll go through that. So the 220 mile range Model 3 has a 0 to 60 time of 5.6 seconds. And when you convert dollars into pounds, uh, currently as the end of July 2017, plus adding 20% VAT, you're looking at around £32,000 plus delivery charges, which I think are three, four hundred pounds So, uh, so yeah, roughly £32,000 for, for that one. Then the 310 mile range is a 5.1 second 0 to 60. Well, what's interesting is obviously that car is heavier than the other one because it's got more batteries in it but has a faster 0 to 60 time. So the question of that is, is it to do with software within the car or does that one have a more powerful motor in it? We'll have to uh, wait and see and that details will come out. Come out. 
but that one, yeah, not to 60 in 5.1 seconds, which is pretty rapid, uh, rapid enough for me, well, both are. Um, these are single motor rear wheel drive configurations. Um, there will be the option later in the year in the United States to order the all wheel drive, so a motor at the, on the front axle and a motor on, on the rear axle as well. Um, but these are for uh, single motor configurations. Um, there are obviously options of um, standard alloys, are 18 inch um, alloys, uh, which we've seen on uh, test cars that have been around in the United States and they're kind of slightly filled in. Um, so they're, um, they're what they're calling the aero alloy wheels. But if you want the sport alloys, the and I think they're really nice looking alloys, and I'd be really tempted to go for the for the 19 inch um, alloys. They're 1,500 pounds. Um, then if you take metallic paint, um, that's 950 pounds. The um, the base colour is black. Bit Model T Ford here. You can only get the Model 3 as black as a non-metallic colour. It's the it's the base colour, and that's free. Uh, if you want the um, pearlescent white, the um, multi-coat red, which um, there's also a grey, metallic grey, metallic blue. Um, have I missed one? Uh, no, so that's the five colours, but if you want anything but black, it's going to cost you another £950. Then if you want kind of the autopilot, so the Model 3 has seven cameras plus ultrasonic sensors, radar, just to kind of um, add to the suite um, to keep the, the vehicle and, and using autopilot to keep it on the road. Uh, and then if you want the full autonomous driving, which obviously isn't currently um, allowed in uh, most countries at the moment, but um, within the next um, kind of 18 months, two years, um, there will be um, legislation in place to allow for full autonomy. Um, so you can just get in your car, tell it you want to go to work and it will drive you to work. So that's another £2,800, but you need the autopilot. So you need to combine those two if you want the full autonomy, but you don't have to go for full auto autonomy. And then there's something called um, a premium pack. So what they've done at this stage, you kept it quite, the configurations are really, really simple. You can currently choose what you've got here um, and other things will be added as they get a grip with um, deliveries. So currently, um, as I say, they've just delivered the first 30, but what they want to do is kind of ramp up to, the, by the end of the year, Elon wants to be producing 5,000 Model 3s a week in the Fremont factory um, to start to get through the, the, the backlog of, of, of orders, really. So there's something, yes, called the premium pack, which is £4,700. And again, these are converted from dollars, and then I've added VAT onto it and uh, things like um, the metallic paint and, and, and the alloys are similar uh, not the alloys that, that's a different price the metallic paint the autopilot and the full autonomy are basically the same as model s and model x but the premium upgrades package um, they it says here so i'm just reading this offline um, has um, beyond the standard um, the standard specification has premium heated seating and cabin materials throughout, including the wood decor that we've seen in a lot of the um, mules, the test mules going going round, um, and an additional two rear USB ports in the back of the car. There are two USB ports in the front of the car in the centre console. Um, and then it adds um, electric power adjustable seats, front seats, 
a steer, uh, the electric steering column as well as you, people might be familiar with in the Model S and the Model X. Power mirrors, side mirrors, um, and that's all memorised with in the driver profile, so it will know who's getting in the car and um, set the mirrors and the seat to the position that, that's memorised. What is interesting is Tesla are dropping for Model 3, they're dropping the key fob with, that's in the shape of the, the, the Model S, where you press the bonnet to open the, the frunk uh, and everything, and they're going with um, like a flat kind of credit card, key card style. So they're moving away um, from, from the more complex fob um, and what will happen is um, it's kind of proximity so it will know that you have that key card on you and you'll be able to um, get in the car, start the car, whatever. If you don't have that but you have your phone that's paired to the vehicle and you have the Tesla app, you can actually unlock your car just with your mobile phone and you, you you know if you've left left the key card somewhere and i presume you're going to get a couple of those key cards plus you'll be able to use your your smartphone to unlock the car and to remotely um control the temperature of the car before you before you get to it it also adds for that 4700 pound um premium audio system so more power tweeters surround speakers and a subwoofer as well so um uh, you know this is pretty good stuff for for, for a package for four thousand seven hundred pound looking at how they used to charge for it on the model s and the model x um the tinted full glass roof um so front to back so the windscreen to the back windscreen you will have glass all over so i think the standard configuration the the 220 mile configuration um might come with the the, the metal roof. Uh, we yet to see uh, get some clarification on that. Uh, auto dimming, uh, power folding, and heated side mirrors as well. Um, LED fog lamps, uh, center console with covered storage and docking for two smartphones. So in in that package, it basically gives you um, a little bit more because it sounds like you can be able to dock your smartphone. In, into something at the front as well so um, yeah nice little package there um, obviously what, what we need to consider there is um, obviously I'm a UK um, Model 3 reservation holder um, and what you have to consider there is the changes to the UK vehicle tax system that has come in this year so um, Again, looking online, um, obviously being zero CO2 emissions, there is initially uh, no upfront payment um, for the Model 3 because, it, because it's got, got no emissions and then that goes up. So if you've got a car that you're registering with over 255 gram of CO2, it's uh, £1,990 in its first year to to tax that car so the model 3 zero which is great but as soon as the list price so that includes any additional things that you put on it um, so such as metallic paint autopilot the premium pack or whatever as soon as the car goes over forty thousand pounds you then have to pay and 310 pounds a year for the first five years of, of the car which is, is is a kind of luxury tax um, for for any car that is that is over 40,000 so you know that that you've got to keep that in in, in consideration really that, that that obviously there's that cost what you can do obviously is pay a little bit more and, and actually have the autopilot and the full autonomy after you've taken delivery of the car. They're over the air updates. They do cost more after delivery, but if it kind of works out that it's actually cheaper to have those after, 
then it might be might be worth doing it. Depends on your options. Depends what what you really want on the car. But obviously, it's it's mainly the hardware that that you want to kind of get on the car at that point. Um, but but still try and keep it under you know under that forty thousand pound threshold unless you're happy to pay three hundred and ten pound a year um, luxury tax. Um, so yeah, so it's all exciting. There's still information that's coming out. I'm sure that Elon will be on Twitter dropping things out over the next few months. Um, oh, the biggie, which was a bit of a shock to me. Um, earlier this year, uh, Elon tweeted that um, right-hand drive deliveries would be mid-2018. So I was happy. That was great. Looking forward to it. It's now come onto the website, um, so the Model 3 FAQs has been updated, and it now says, when will international deliveries begin? So it's saying, Model 3 deliveries will begin in late 2018, this is for international deliveries, um, contingent upon regulatory approvals starting with the left-hand drive market, followed by right-hand drive markets in 2019. So here in the UK and any right-hand drive market, we always knew we were at the back of the queue, but we didn't expect the back of that queue to be 2019, to be honest. Um, and at what point in 2019? Is it going to be kind of January, February? Is it going to be mid-2019? We have yet to find out. Um, I'm still going to keep my reservation. Um, I've waited 16 months already. I put my deposit down on the 31st of March 2016. So I've, in, I've, I've, I've seen that through. Um, I went to the store. Uh, at that point I did meet uh, Georg Gell, who is the head of Tesla UK, uh, which was great. And that's one of my other videos. But... Um, yeah, there's potentially another kind of, what, 18 months or so. So it could turn into totally, this, this could end up being a kind of three-year wait for a car. Um, obviously by then, the kinks, the issues, the problems will be ironed out. By the time it comes to the UK, all the options will be there. So the all-wheel drive will be there. Um, whether there's, there's any new options or whether they decide to split the um, premium pack or kind of you know Tesla are constantly developing their their cars so uh, yes uh, it'll all be interesting but uh, I think that's it for me um, thanks for tuning in thanks for watching thanks for subscribing if you have if you haven't please subscribe and like the video leave comments and I'll um, I'll always try and get back to people as soon as I can. But um, it's been a, a real um, pleasure kind of being part of this Model 3 journey and I will continue to, to do that in the future. So um, thank you very much.